So now we're going to talk about Waterhouse Fridrichsen syndrome. And basically, it's bilateral destruction of your adrenal glands due to infection with Neisseria meningitidis. And basically, there's an endotoxin produced by Neisseria meningitidis, which is called the lipooligosaccharide. Uh, it's basically the polysaccharide capsule. Um, and basically, what happens is you get the septicemia with um, these little uh, membrane blebs containing the LPS. Um, and that way you get hypotension, eventually leading to septic shock. You also have purpura, or DIC, um, in this syndrome. But basically what happens is you have bilateral destruction due to infection, and you don't, and, and it's due to bleeding. And what basically happens is that you get thrombocytopedia because you're bleeding into a lot of things, um, and also it could be due to DIC. You get hypoglycemia, hyponatremia, and hyperkalemia um, because you're not getting um, aldosterone or, um, and, or any of the glucocorticoids being secreted by um, the adrenal glands. And it also could be due to a bunch of other things like streptococcus pneumonia, staph aureus, and also cytomegalovirus, but basically they're only going to ask this in the case of Neisseria meningitis um, infection. So they'll give you a patient that says... Um, he's complaining of fatigue, um, neck stiffness, you know, everything points to meningitis, and then they might ask you a question about their, their, um, um, uh, metabolite levels, uh, their glucose levels, or what else you would see. You'd all, you would also see purpura and, uh, DIC. Um, and that basically is Waterhouse-Fridrichsen syndrome.